Hello crafty friends, my name is Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Today we have color blend number 21 using a trio from Simon's to Stamp Positively Saturated Ink. We're going to be using the trio Cabbage, Artichoke and Kale. Now I can't talk about ink blending without talking about my favorite paper. I prefer to use 130 pound cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. However, there are many beautiful cardstocks on the market that would be great for ink blending. There is Bristol Smooth, Not Your Mama's, Hammer Mill, and many, many other options. I'm hoping to make a video here in the future where I'm testing out all sorts of fun papers, but for now, I like to use the 130 pound from Simon Says Stamp. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started. In my recent videos, I have expressed how much I love the color cabbage. Absolutely love this color. It is my go-to green. I love actually pairing it with kale for a lot of greenery. And it's just an overall unique color of green. Now, the colors that it's paired with, like I said, are artichoke and kale. And I really love the way that these colors blend. Simon Says Stamp Inks has a pretty decent number of greens. You've got really bright greens, you've got more true greens, and then I would consider these more of a royal green or dusty green for the line. Now, I will be doing a panel pairing them next to the greens, so stay tuned for that, but look at kale. Kale is definitely more a of a blue-green kind of breaching onto that jungle greenish color. That's where I like to put kale, but I just love how this trio looks next to each other. Now, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining us. But I, what I like to talk about is how well these inks dry back. So you're gonna see that right now it looks a little bit splotchy and we're gonna go ahead and zoom in on it here. This is cabbage, artichoke, and kale. It looks a little splotchy, but I'd just like to bring your interest to the upper left-hand corner and just watch that panel over time. And then of course at the very end, when I dry the panels off camera, you're gonna see how beautiful they smooth back. Now our next trio is going to be Limelicious, Field, and Kale. Now Limelicious is from another trio of greens as well as Field. And I've noticed uh, when I do these panels where I'm incorporating other trios in the same color family, you can get some really fun panels. So Limelicious is probably the brightest green in the trio. It's definitely looking very neon here, and it makes quite the statement in person too. But pairing it next to Field is gonna go ahead and bring that brightness down a little bit, take it from that neon state, kind of bring it back more to maybe that springy grass green, new growth green. That's kind of how I like to see it next to Field. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the kale, and what a beautiful masculine blend. This would be great for a spring birthday card or pop some really beautiful florals up on it. it. could be acting as like a modern take on a field. Definitely a difference in here between the cabbage trio and that limelicious. It definitely elevated those greens up to a another level. Definitely more yellow in it. Up next, we're going to have violet, mist, and artichoke. One of the things I always forget is making sure that my ink pads are nice and re-inked before I get started with my ink blending. So I noticed once I got into it that Violet could use a little bit of re-inking. Someone asked me recently in the comments how often I'm re-inking my ink pads, and it really depends. The colors that I'm using more often or I'm reaching for, like Cabbage, that one I'm probably re-inking every six months. And then other ones, you know, they can go a year before or I haven't even reinked them to this day. Now, I wanted to show you that I am using a brand new teal brush for mist. And there's a reason for that. When I first bought my original brush line, my teal brush seemed way over packed with bristles. And so it was always really stiff when I was ink blending. And it, it was definitely different than my other brushes. And it even was still to this day. So I thought I would go ahead and buy a new one in hopes that the new one would be similar to my other brushes where it wasn't as 
densely packed with bristles. And so what I was finding with my teal brush was that it was really stiff. And while I got really good ink blending with it, I felt like it was different. And so that's why I finally broke down and purchased another brush. And I'll be honest, it's totally different now. It is definitely laying the ink down better and probably too good here. We got a little bit of some splotches because I wasn't used to the way that it felt. Now, some people might think that it's because I need to wash my brushes, but I honestly have had this issue since the beginning with this specific brush. That is my favorite panel, I think, from tonight. That's Violet, Mist, and Artichoke. Now we're going to do a quick clean. As you see, I do like to use a spray cleaner, and it is squeaky clean. It is my favorite for doing any kind of cleanup in the craft room. So now we're going to go ahead and get started on this very bright panel. This is Cabbage, Sunbeam, and Cantaloupe. And whenever I'm using yellow, I do like to start with yellow first. And I like to give it a very big berth <laughs> of color band. So I went ahead and made a lot, put down a lot of yellow. Oops. Yeah, as you saw there, I accidentally put my orange brush in my sunbeam, but no worries. We're going to go ahead and blend that out with the cantaloupe. But I like to start with a big panel of yellow because I tend to over blend onto the yellows. And so that's why I like to lay it down first and to give it a big panel so that I have a lot more room to work with and especially to blend those additional colors. Look at how bright and fun this panel is. So the previous panels were definitely more cool toned, a little bit with Limelicious just because that has a little bit more yellow in it. But for the most part, they are very cool toned in color. And then we went ahead and paired Sunbeam and Cantaloupe with Cabbage and look at how different that made Cabbage feel. So now we're going to go ahead and do a quick clean so that we can get our desk all cleaned up for the comparison and then we're going to go ahead and dry the panels off camera. All of the tools and supplies that I've used in this video will be linked below so be sure to expand that description box to learn more about the colors and any of the tools that I use today. So this is the original panel. Look at how beautiful that dried back. So this is cabbage, artichoke, and kale. Then we're going to move into Limelicious Field and Kale. This is just some of the greens that are in this line. There are about four, I think, trios of greens. Now this is Violet, Mist, and Artichoke. Notice how we had some ink splotches kind of before I dried it back and how they did end up smoothing back. They can see them just a little bit. I could have blended them out a little bit more. And then to finalize the, tr the panels, this is Cantaloupe, Sunbeam, and cabbage. And that's the video for today. Thank you for joining me and please take care.